Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to build a small hydroponic system that you can use to grow peppers, lettuce, basil, or anything you like. The system is going to be very cheap to build because you can probably find this very easily. So I will list out the items you will need. I live right next to a Thai restaurant and I love their soups. And I basically order one probably every week. When you order to go, you always get containers like these. Both of these containers can be used to make a hydroponic kit, so I'm going to show you how to do that today. The first item you will need are these containers, the full, the full size soup container and the half size soup container because it's going to go in to each other like that and this is where you feed your hydroponic nutrients. The next thing you will need is of course a plant that you will be transplanting into that system. You can grow lettuce, basil, uh, peppers, I've done peppers, and you can get very good harvest from just a small plant. So this Thai plant here, I have grown this in this container for probably since uh, last June. And uh, I've gotten tons of peppers off of these plants already from a very small system. So it's a very similar system. At the top you have your medium and at the bottom I feed it hydroponic nutrients. And so you can build it this way as well. And once the plant are no longer producing, you can cut it back like this and then new shoots will start to grow and then you have more and more fruits again. So I have a video on that so I'll link you if you want to watch it. But I'm waiting for these to be ready so I can harvest this all off and then I'll cut this thing back and allow it to start over. And item number three is just brown paper bag. Um, you can find these at any grocery store when you go uh, shopping. Just save your brown bag and because what I'll do is I'll wrap the bag around the container like this and just tape it up. So basically what this is going to do is to shield lights from getting through into the nutrients preventing algae from growing because I didn't have any duct tape because if you do have duct tape you can tape it all around and that will work as well I'm just using what I have today and this brown paper bag is all I have so I'll use this for now and maybe if I have some duct tape I can just tape it all around you can paint it also if you like anything to prevent lights from getting through to the nutrients and that should be good then you will need a drill and a small drill bit. I don't know the size of this but as long as they're smaller than these pebbles then that should work. And of course you will need hydrotin or clay pebbles whatever you call it. These are going to be used as our medium. Finally hydroponic nutrients. I use the general hydroponic flora series for this particular mix because the plant is still small I mix half strength of everything. According to the label, if you want to mix a all-purpose, it'll be one part of each, which is five milliliter of uh, each of the three parts. Uh, for this purpose, I'm only mixing half, so it's 2.5 milliliter of each part because my plants are still young. All right, we're ready to start. We'll need our container. The first thing we'll do is take the inner container and we're going to drill holes everywhere. Let me pause the video, drill all the holes, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, I have my holes all drilled. And be careful because this thing can crack very easily. Uh, so what you will need to do is drill holes everywhere, uh, as many holes as you like. The center hole should be slightly larger than the rest because we're going to feed the roots through that hole there. So we basically finish here. Now the next thing you will do is we'll take our plant and remove it out of soil. If you have plants that are grown like this, there are two of them in, the, in a container. To remove this, uh, the easiest way that I can see to do this is if you take it all out, if you take this entire thing out and then just rinse it down uh, with a water hose gently and it will loosen it up. But since I don't have one right now, I'm doing this indoor, so I'm going to use a plastic spoon to try to dig it out. 
you have to be very careful because the roots can dig very deep. Hold the plant at the top gently and push underneath up to remove it. So there it is right here. No roots were damaged. What we need to do now is just clean this up and then place it into our container. So I'll be right back. Let me clean this up. Okay, I have everything cleaned up as best as I could. Don't worry about a little bit of dirt there. Uh, the, mo the most important thing is not to damage the roots. So now we're ready to transplant this into our system. So what we need to do is take your container and we'll try to feed the roots through the larger hole that we made earlier. And you have to be very gentle not to damage any part of that. Alright, next what we'll do is we're going to fill this up with pebbles around the plant. And we're gonna use the rock to hold the plant in place and not allow it to slip through. All right, that's enough there. Now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna put it into this container and as you can see inside there the root is hanging down and then we'll need to fill this up with nutrients and you don't want to drown the plant so you want to fill it up to about a half an inch below the end of the cup and if you have a marker you can just measure it so this is where the inner cup is you want to fill it up to around right here uh, no more than that. If you go above that, the plant may drown. So just use that as a marker to remember. Okay, so the roots of the plant is in water. There's a little bit of a gap there for air. So that's all you need. So just make sure that plants stand up correctly. It's going to be weak in the beginning, but as it grows and established roots it's going to be very very sturdy so you don't have to worry about that okay and then finally you need to place it inside a protective layer so that algae can get through and then you put that under your lights somewhere there's plenty of lights because pepper needs really really good light and then it'll grow so I will come back in two weeks and show you what it looks like and how much it, it will grow. Uh, that's all for now. Alright, today has been exactly two weeks since we placed the plant into this system. It's a very cheap, simple system that I made from soup container. The plants has probably tripled in size since. Let me show you the root system. Check that out. There's roots hanging all the way down into the container. And there's more uh, growing out of this, all of those little tiny holes there. So eventually when more roots develop, this plant is going to take off like crazy. Let me show you the nutrient level. It hadn't consumed too much of the water because there's where our what water level was. It dropped a little bit. But as soon as they develop more roots, it will grow faster and the water level will drop very quickly. I made a little modification to the outer shell of this thing. It's more sturdy this way and it doesn't allow lights to get through so I didn't want to tape this to the system because I like to remove it to check out the roots and to see the level and everything. There's a date there. That's the day that I placed the plant into the system and today is the March 26th so it's exactly two weeks. As you can see the system works very well. It's very cheap to make because these soup container are free when you order soups you probably throw away these containers all the time you can use these for lettuce basils peppers spinach I've even tried kurabi but kurabi is a uh, need more space so it wouldn't work well for this system but for herbs and leafy greens it works really really well let's compare the brother that I took the plant from 
Uh, so this container initially held two plant. I took this guy out and moved this guy down to the center so it can have all the space to itself. It looks to be about the same size. Maybe this has grown a little bit better because this guy is having a little bit of a leaf problem. But that problem will be solved easily because it's, it's just a calcium issue. But there you have it. The system works great. It's easy to build. It's very cheap and uh, it's very effective. So I hope you guys will give it a try and let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and please like, comment, subscribe.